stumbled onto something big, something none of us were meant to know. I'm thinking more along the lines of the sapient species paradox. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Captain, in my humble assessment, Ms. Hagen is insane. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damn gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. No kidding, that's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks. How much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. If you don't want the job, just walk away. I'm giving you first dibs because you've seen what's at stake. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. 
Don't trust anything, Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. skills. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. cabin on one of my first ships. Again. 
Mm. I smell. Here they come. Engineer, I advise you not to set foot on that, especially when you get the bullets. Captain, look out!
don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ray? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... something to make you unhappy with me? You got to personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Wanna make a run with me to Stella Bay? The boss lady told me to take the night off. No, I'm beat. Just got back from delivering to that house with a strange family. The ones that always smell like raw meat and got splotches of blood on them? Yep, oddest thing. They started ordering cans of forest worst, but only if they come from the CMP factory. Makes you wonder what the secret ingredient is. Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. You know how their spoke are all crusty outside, but warm and squishy inside? I'm pretty sure she's crust all the way through. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed. Suppose I've no choice but to be patient. Maybe a handful of bits will spur you into quicker action. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. And I'll thank you kindly for it. What about it? Aside from the fact that I can smell it all the way from here. You mean you can't just follow the stench trail or the squealing bloody murder sounds of little sissy piggies? Once you're clear of the bridge, follow the river southwest. Sure, weren't no skin off my nose. I take it you don't have a reservation. No matter, I keep a suite of VIP rooms for visitors of your... Let's call it a certain means. The VIP rooms charge by the night. But for you, I'll make it a one-time fee. Got a feeling you'll make me a fine investment. Marvelous, do take care of the place. Maid service won't clean after a murder. seem to be getting lost. Don't, don't make it small. When you say it like that, it... Whoa, take it easy. Didn't realize you were so wrapped up. You're doing it again.
it. What happened here? Bunch of amateurs. Sublight should have seen this coming. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Just remember, I still got bullets, in case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Thank <laughs> you. 